What do we call people with no conscience who seem to have absolute disregard to other people, society, and societal rules? The usual, psychopaths and sociopaths. You must be thinking, Buffalo Bill, Patrick Batum, Hannibal Lecter, John Doe, the Joker, and the list goes on. If Hollywood isn't your cup of tea, then images of Ted Bundy, Jeffrey Dahmer, and Charles Manson definitely pop into your head. You are right to think so, but these are not the most accurate and rather realistic examples. Actually, there might be examples that you might know of on a personal level. Psychopathy and sociopathy are perhaps two of the most confused terms in the field of psychology and criminology. While these terms sound very similar, they do in fact differ in characteristics. Both disorders are categorized as antisocial personality disorders, as they share major characteristics. Although many experts disagree on the significance of these differences, Dr. Scott A. Bond offers a compelling hypothesis that psychopathy is a result of genetics, while sociopathy is a learned behavior, because sociopaths do have the ability to feel empathy as well as form emotional attachments to certain people. He suggests childhood trauma and physical or emotional abuse are possible causes of sociopathy. So, is it possible that you might personally know a sociopath? Unfortunately, it is. Here are five signs of sociopaths that will tell you if you might have met a sociopath but just don't know it. 1. They have a grandiose sense of self. Sociopaths tend to entitle themselves to certain things and claim them as their own, as they think it is their right to do so. When confronted, they do not find anything wrong with their actions or themselves. They can even turn tables to manipulatively make it seem like others are the selfish ones. This sense of self-righteousness is supported by their artificial charm, which in turn stems from their manipulation, resulting in a loop of characteristics. Although they do appear quite attractive personality-wise, they are in fact domineering and consider others as mere instruments to be used for self-indulgence. On the business level, they are highly authoritarian, sometimes even tyrannical, when given the opportunity. 2. They are mischievous, cunning, or have behavioral problems. Usually, sociopaths have a history of behavioral and or academic trouble, but only in rare cases are they in trouble with the law. A sociopath lies so often it becomes part of their personality. They are extremely cunning and know how to easily convince people. However, they have difficulties in making and keeping friends. The compassion a sociopath demonstrates is usually stimulated rather than felt and serves a certain motive. Despite that, they do actually have a sense of morality, unlike psychopaths, but appear to be satisfied by their own antisocial behavior. 3. They are irresponsible or unreliable. A sociopath is not interested in others' needs, lives, or even safety, and is oblivious to the damage they cause. Sometimes, they aren't even concerned about their own safety. On the personal level, when in trouble, they tend to quickly accuse someone else of being guilty, even when the action is of their own doing. On both the personal and business levels, they fail to plan ahead, lack realistic visions for the future, and exploit others for their own advantage without a second thought. 4. They have poor behavioral controls or an impulsive nature. When dealing with a sociopath, you find yourself in a cycle of short periods of peaceful expressions followed by periods of rage that can sometimes develop into abuse, and once again followed by short periods of emotional and mental peace. This cycle makes the abused feel helpless. Sociopaths' poor rage control issues lead to repeated violent assaults on other people, as well as, if not especially, on animals. Sometimes, a matter that would make a normal person angry would mean nothing to a sociopath. And yet, matters which might be of no worth to a normal person can outrage a sociopath. 5. They are unable to feel guilt, shame, or remorse. The ends justify the means is perhaps the most descriptive idiom of how sociopaths feel about their actions. When a sociopath has a certain goal in mind, they have no problem causing devastation to others as long as they can reach that outcome. They won't let anything stand in their way and have no remorse. This is because they have shallow emotions and lack empathy, in addition to having a grandiose sense of self. Their lack of remorse and guilt stems from their ability to rationalize the pain they inflict on others and inability to empathize with the pain of their victims. So, does anyone come to mind after listening to these traits? 
let us know in the comments below. Happy days, Tuesday, Wednesday, happy days, Thursday, Friday, happy days, Saturday, the Sabbath day, there's so much you can't do, these are the Sabbath hours, Satan wants them to be sour. Oh, Sabbath day. Goodbye, gray sky, hello, blue. The Sabbath day is made for you. Day of rest, fellowship too. So much joy for you to choose. The Sabbath days are yours and mine. Oh, happy day. Sabbath days are yours and mine. Oh, happy day. The Sabbath days are yours and mine. Sabbath days are yours and mine. Happy days.